This is Super Yacht News with Yves Sisman. So we're um, tracking breaking news right now. Um, a motor yacht uh, name, go, that goes by the name of uh, MY007, believe it or not, uh, has uh, capsized and partially sunk in Greece. Now, this came in early this morning. It's in a place called Kelowna, Kithnos, and it happened yesterday evening, I believe. So we've had, we have an unconfirmed report that the vessel actually ran aground, hit some rocks and started to take on water. And the captain made the decision to try to deliberately ground the vessel to prevent it from completely sinking. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't turn out too well if this is what indeed happened by the looks of this video footage, as the vessel can be seen in the first image there listing over to port and then eventually um, it's almost completely submerged there. So the um, search and rescue teams looks like they put a boom around that yacht to stop any uh, any pollution. Obviously there'll be some sort of recovery uh, attempt made on that yacht but as we've seen by the yacht in, uh, in uh, Tarragona, the one that got hit by the search and rescue vessel, that still hasn't been raised so and that's that completely sank but that's still there uh, uh, to this day so um, so the yacht is as an interesting uh, backstory actually that this vessel was was uh, delivered in 2007 and it's it's had it's, it's had a few names the first name I believe was Royal Enterprise and then later on it was renamed to Amazon A got nothing to do with Jeff Bezos and, and now it's called 007. The, the vessel when it first launched was 32 meters long. And as you see in these photographs here, and I think there's a video, uh, a short video from Super Yacht Times also on their Instagram page. The vessel as it is in these photos and videos is 49 meters long. So the vessel was actually, it's been extensively modified. An extra deck was added at some point. And it looks like it's got a touch and go helicopter landing pad on the top deck there and um, also the vessel was lengthened it was originally 32 meters or 105 feet and uh, at some point in time I'm not sh quite sure when um, the vessel was lengthened from 32 meters to 49 meters or 160 feet the yacht was built in Turkey um, by uh, Aegean yachts and it was built in Bodrum um, so that's that's in fact that's all the information we have on this yacht. We've got some photographs here from Raphael Belli, uh, also from before, obviously, um, and you can see in the original photos from when it was Amazon A compared to now how different it looks with that extra deck and that big long stern extension. Because when you add an extra deck, you 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 can get stability problems, as they found out with Moti Yacht Yogi, right? Um, but apparently the vessel, it's not because of any sort of fault with the, the, with the vessel. The vessel just hit, um, hit rocks and that captain made that decision. Uh, you know, he had, would have had very little time to make the decision once he realized he was taken on water. So anyway, we'll bring you more as soon as we have it. If you've got any information about this that we haven't covered in this video, please get in touch. Um, you know how to get in touch with us, uh, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook Messenger, and um, I've got a couple of other stories while I'm while I'm here. Um, Victor Vexelberg, the owner of Moti Yacht Tango, he uh, his vessel was arrested in Palma um, in a few months ago. It's been there ever since, uh, boarded by U.S. Uh, government officials, as you as you'll remember. Uh, his apartment in New York City was raided uh, a couple of days ago. I think it was fr uh, Friday, Thursday, Thursday evening. And um, according to the New York Post, um, they have sources that says that Vex Vexelberg was the target of those searches. And you can see the footage here of the agents uh, bringing out a safe, which it looks like they tried to open and possibly maybe they, did, they weren't able to open it, but they'd taken the whole safe away in, in the back of a car there. Uh, he also had um, similar searches occur in Fisher Island, which is very close to Miami Beach where apparently dozens of agents from the FBI and other federal agencies could be seen at properties linked to Vexelberg and his associates. Uh, Vexelberg is alleged to own four properties in that, in that location. So uh, yeah, it's going from bad to worse for Mr. Vexelberg, isn't it? Um, so yeah, that, we'll keep you updated on that story also. Got one last thing. 
We mentioned in recent videos about Moti Yacht Pacific. This vessel is in Marmaris right now, and we mentioned that in one video, we mentioned that they changed the AIS name from the MMSI number to uh, Pacific X. And then in the, in the next video, I talked about the fact that they'd actually changed their flag state over to Malaysia from, I think, the Cayman Islands. Um, and this picture here was taken yesterday, and you can see that they're still flying their old flag, and it still says Georgetown on the stern. Um, so I don't, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Uh, either the crew are unaware that there's been a flag change, which is very unlikely, but it's also possible that the vessel has no crew on board effectively, and it's because it's been sat in that location for a long time. And um, yeah, I, I'm not quite sure why they would still have the old flag unless it's been left there uh, by the crew who left. It's unlikely, most likely the crew would take that flag down um, before they left. But yeah, a bit, bit puzzled about that one, why they're still flying that old flag. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. This was a breaking news story, obviously, uh, about the, the sinking of the yacht 007. Like I said, if you've got any information about that story, uh, please get in touch in the normal methods. Okay, thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.